For our supplies, you're going to need some 90 pound cardstock, some inkjet glossy photo paper, a pack of crayons to give to your customer, and then a long reach stapler. Let's go to canva.com and create a custom size workspace, 11 for your width, 8.5 for your height. I'm gonna go to elements and grab a line, and then we're gonna go back to elements to grab a square. You wanna put your square at the edge and then move it until you see 5.5 for your width. Once you get to 5.5, you wanna go ahead and stop it there. Grab your line and then put it directly on top of that square. This is gonna serve as your left and your right of your pages once it's printed out. So for the inside pages, you should have an even amount. There are three on this first one, but I am going to eventually add another page at the end. Next, I'm gonna to go to remove.bg to remove the background from my picture of my son that I will be using. Then you wanna to go to Google, search for all of the images that you will be using. For this project, I'm doing Coco Melon. So you wanna search your character, whatever it is. And PNG simply means that it will not have a background, it will be transparent. Next, you wanna to go to Google and search for your coloring pages. So I put Coco Melon coloring pages. I used a total of four for this particular book. Once you are done looking for the coloring pages and saving them to your computer, you wanna go ahead and start looking for your activities. For this particular one, I chose to do a maze and a word search. So I found my maze that I wanna use. Now I'm gonna to go to the wordsearch.com, put in the words. You don't have to have a title because we're gonna do that in Canva. And then you wanna download it and save it to your computer. Next, we are going to work on finding the website that I wanna use for the picture at the end where it kind of looks like an outline of the kids. So I chose between two different sites to work with. I end up going with this particular one, um, which is Mimi. If you go to the description, I have both of these websites link. Either one of these will work, but it's just your preference really on what you want it to look like. And the outcome is based on the quality of the picture. So you wanna make sure that your customer is giving you a good quality picture or giving you several for you to choose from. Now we're going to upload everything into Canva. If you would like to see the full drawn out tutorial on how I designed the cover page and the back page, I have another video uploaded. Go and watch that. But for this video, it's basically just going to show you guys how to put together the insides and assemble the book. So we're going to start with the first page. Again, the left side will be the page that's going to be on the back and the right side is gonna be the first page of the coloring book. So I'm gonna grab an A, then I'm gonna go up to effects and hit outline and reduce it a little bit or get it to however you want it to look depending on the font. And then I'm gonna go in and type A is for mirror, which is my son's name. Go ahead and remove that line and then move to your second page. I am gonna do the word search. I'm going to take out the side words and I'm going to create my own at the bottom after I put in word search with a mirror at the top. Make it small. You don't want these things going to the edge. All of my rest of my pieces, which are the coloring pages and the maze. I actually went with the maze that I found in Design Space because it fit the layout a lot better. And then you'll see me going in and putting a square over that little wording for that picture. Go ahead and download everything to your computer. And then you wanna choose two of these to print out at the same time so that they can print front and back. Depending on which printer you have, you may have to text your settings out to get your pictures to both be facing upwards and not reverse. So this is those are my settings for my particular printer that I have. Before we get started with assembling this, I wanna show you guys what regular photo paper would look like and why you shouldn't use it. So this is very transparent. You can see each page through each other. So we don't wanna use that. Crumble it up, throw it out, and get the cardstock that I use. So here is the front cover. We have the front side on the right, the back side on the left. And then here are our other pages. As you can see, all of my pictures are facing the same way, just printed on separate sides. Again, same thing, A is for a mirror, and then the picture's on the back. So we're gonna go ahead and fold this like a hot dog. 
Make sure it's neat and fold it crispy. You're gonna do this for all of the pages. So again, fold it like a hot dog. This is pretty simple, easy. The only thing that's gonna take a lot of time doing these coloring books is the design, making the design. After that, assembling takes about two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the front page as well. Fold it like a hot dog, crease it in the middle. Grab your inside pages, start to put them in one by one, how you want them to go in there. Once you are done with that, you wanna make sure everything is lined up correctly and that the pages are not sticking out too far from the cover, really at all. It shouldn't be sticking out if you folded it correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and unfold this. Once you unfold it, still go back in and move it around, dent it a little bit, grab your long reach stapler. We're gonna start with the middle. You wanna go directly in the middle and staple it, guys. So we're gonna do three staples, one in the middle, one at the top, and then one at the bottom. Guys, this is done. Here is the finished product of the coloring book for an event favor kids party. I love doing this project. So if you guys have any questions, drop them below. If you would like a personal one-on-one -on -one class on how to actually design more in Canva, send me a message on my website or on my Instagram or TikTok and I will respond back to you.